What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we will be training in a brand new Speedo drag suit that I have not worn in years, which you can get at the new Speedo USA website. Right there, all kinds of awesome stuff, apparel as well. Time to hit this early morning swim practice. Let's do this. Good morning, everybody. You know, pre-dad life, my morning routine used to take five minutes total. Wake up, put clothes on, fill up my water bottle, and then leave the house and go to the pool. Now that I'm a dad, my morning routine takes about 20 minutes, give or take. This morning took a little longer because Axel is kind of sick, so I had to, had to give him his medicine. He didn't fight the Tylenol this morning, so it was a win. I'll take that. The dreaded early morning stairs. The moment we find out if my legs are gonna cooperate in the pool. Oh, they hurt. A oh. little concerned about my legs because this morning we are doing a kick set. And as you can see, the pool is long course. Despite being nervous for this practice, I am excited for, for one reason. I am doing something that I have not done in maybe 10 years. I mean, it's been years. We're talking about training with a drag suit. I trained with the drag suit all through high school, and then when I got to college, just kind of stopped because my team, it's kind of cultural, right? Like if your team trains with them, then you wear them, but when I got to college, people weren't wearing them. Anyway, I want to wear them again, just to mix things up. A lot of fast people use them. Ryan Murphy swims with one every single day. So, I had Speedo send me not one, not two, but four different colors. Why would you swim with the drag suit? The idea is that it's just a little bit of drag. It's just gonna slow you down a bit, and then when you take it off, you feel like a superhero. We've got the blue one, got the black one, got the red one. What color should I wear? Do you wanna wear one today? Do you wanna wear one? No, I'm good. Or this one, the blue and the red. You sure? Why not? A lot of drag, too much drag? Yeah, too much drag. Short interval kick. Short interval? No yeah, we're doing short interval kick, which makes this a lot. All right, which color should I wear? Red. Red? Are you red? Red it is. Popping tags. For anyone who doesn't know, that's my friend Michael Brinegar, American Olympic distance swimmer. Wow, that is not a small amount of drag. I mean, look at that. It's like a skin rash. It, it looks like he has like small hives on his butt and like, like a couple on his I mean, face. Can I get the set? I don't have foot hand mouth. <laughs> Axel's not contagious anymore. This morning's kick set. <sighs> yeah, Corey, come here, let me kiss you. What? <laughs> your lips to yourself, Cody. <laughs> There's a lot going on on this paper, but the main thing, hello, Tommy. <laughs> the main thing is a short interval kick set. A 400, two 200s, a 400, four 100s, a 400, 2,000, shortest interval possible, kicking, am I worried? Yes. For this kick set, Lily, do you prepare like this? Nope. That's right, that's why I am a better kick setter than you. That is also incorrect. Not true. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Now jump in with confidence. That's awful! You are almost the first person in the water. Luke would like me to point out that I am last to get in the water today. That'll make it in the vlog, okay? But it's because I was pumping everybody up, you know? We're about to start the kick set. The objective, make the interval, survive. My strategy is to do half of it breaststroke kick, half of it flutter kick, to be more sustainable and make it through. And maybe, just maybe, beat Tommy. <laughs> All right, Godspeed, everyone. Give, give me... Let's go. That's it. 400 meters down. We're doing great, we're doing great. We are officially halfway there, a thousand meters down. My legs are starting to go. I'm getting a little concerned. Getting a little concerned, guys. 1,500 meters down, my legs are screaming at me to stop. Got the little devil over my shoulder. Telling me just stop, but I can't. Can't stop, we're almost there. I can do it. Even though I want to. Come on. Last 
200 meters. Got my second wind. Don't even care about how much it hurts anymore. We are doing great. Gonna get there. Nice. Eight. Yeah. Three, Woo. 20. Good job. Thank you. Crushed it. I didn't notice the drag suit on the on the flutter kick, but I did on the breaststroke kick. We're gonna do a pole set now. Here's the final set right here. We're gonna fly through these nine two hundreds pole. That was a good practice. Certainly went better than I expected. We are home. With Axel now being 11 months old, he's almost one years old. We've been teaching him how to swim. He's been swimming in our backyard pool pretty regularly, and it's made me want to talk a little bit about my upbringing with swimming and how I got into it. I started swimming because my mom didn't know how to swim and was kind of scared of the water and wanted me to be safe around the water. It started first as just a safety precaution, just knowing how to, and then it transitioned into something that I enjoyed doing. It gave me friends, it gave me mentors, it gave me all kinds of lifelong lessons that I carry with me today. I'm always surprised at how many people reach out to me saying, hey, I follow your vlogs and I'm a rec swimmer or I'm a casual swimmer or most surprising of all, I don't really swim at all, but for some reason I like to watch your videos. For those people out there, if you're thinking about getting into the sport, if you're thinking about learning how to swim or if you're thinking about teaching your kids how to swim and wanting them to get into it, you start simply by just getting in and learning to be comfortable floating in the water, right? Like when it comes to learning how to swim, being comfortable just floating in the water and keeping yourself up, that's step one. So getting something that is floaty, like a kickboard or a pull buoy, learning how to hold yourself up, kick your legs a little bit, simple things like that. And then as you get slightly more advanced, you get yourself a pair of fins, a pair of paddles, you start using equipment as you're doing laps. And then who knows, one day you're like me, you're wearing a drag suit, using a parachute, doing power work, all kinds of crazy stuff. But it all starts with a simple life-saving skill that I think everybody should know how to do. And that's just getting in the water and learning how to swim. World Swimming Day is coming up October 23rd. And my message to everyone out there who is currently in and involved in the swimming community or thinking about just dipping your toe in the water a little bit, you should know how to swim. You should teach your kids how to swim and it's fun. That's the biggest thing that I try to show in these videos as I'm going through sometimes very grueling swim practices is it is fun. It's fun to do things that are hard, that challenge you. And it's also fun to play around in the water and just goof off. Uh-oh. Hey! Oh, buddy boy, it's okay. Come here, man. <laughs> <laughs> X-Man just woke up from his nap a little early. He's getting over his little sickness. He's doing a lot better. This little monster is really good with a little kickboard, like the junior size kickboard. He just grabs onto the side and rests his arms on it, and just kind of holds himself up afloat in our pool. We're getting there. Most things that are worthwhile and rewarding take lots of time and dedication. And that is constantly on display in the swimming world. That's it for me guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you're following me on social media, just at Cody Miller on Instagram. Make sure you guys check out the new Speedo website. Get yourself some Speedo swag or some training gear like the drag suit that I was wearing today. Until my next video, I will see you guys later. <laughs>